Hello there everyone, Quinnigidi here. Welcome back to another video. Today I am here with the release of the Sims 4 Horse Ranch expansion pack. And we're gonna do a good old fashioned classic Cool Nicky D trailer breakdown. I'm so excited. I have the sound off because copyright purposes, uh, but I'll put my own little country music in the background. There you go, enjoy it. Um, let's do it. I'm scared. First of all, I'm not really that excited. <laughs> Can I be honest? I don't care for horses. I'm not a horse girl. I've never been a horse person. But I'm excited to see it. I like when The Sims like surprises me. I like when they do things that are different. And this is different. But I'm not excited. Let's see. Maybe I will be excited. Okay. That's really pretty. I've always wanted a Western-themed world. But it does give me Strangerville vibes. See, this is the thing. Also, this is what a trailer breakdown is. I know people don't really do it anymore, but like we pause. So we're gonna like pause and, and watch and break it down. It's it's cool. I can first see like a Simviver season here one day. Okay. Oh, they are having a showdown. Oh. Cute. Or, oh. I love the text. I think that's really cool. I know it's just for the trailer, but I love the Western theme. See, I'm glad that they went with like a full Western theme and not just like prairies. Like I like the cowboy aesthetic. I do. This looks cool. Nice gate and looks like what would be like the, where the horses compete. <gasps> oh, that's cool. Oh, I'm a fan. Of the, I'm a fan of this. Look at her pony in the back. She's in pink. It's giving Barbie. Look at that. This is cool. I feel like it could be even more though. Like why do I feel like this is still very plain? I wonder if these are each individual lots or if these are like rabbit holes. I love that. I love it. It reminds me of like the Alamo. You know the Alamo? It reminds me of that. Oh, this, this is so cool. This is cool. I've always wanted something like this. I used to make videos about like a Wild West theme expansion pack. Maybe I haven't, maybe I wanted to. This is cool. I feel like it could be even more. And I'm sure when I find something on the gallery that's even cuter, it will be. But this is good. I like that a lot. This, it looks like a saloon. Top of the morning. Oh, those were like little fruit baskets. Wait, do you think we can like buy fruit or like horse fr Oh, like hor food for the horses. Definitely is what that is. Uh, we see Sims drinking wine. Can our Sims drink wine right now? Is that something they could do? I don't know. Can they? I also just made the video better quality. Okay, so it looks like we are in a competition of sorts, maybe being judged. Is this a judge? Oh, we have some new banners as well. Those are cool. Like that. Oh, is this like a, this might be like a training facility or this might actually be, the expansion bag is called Horse Ranch. So we're gonna be able to have a ranch with horses. So maybe this is somebody's ranch and you could practice. Cool, I, I actually am obsessed with this arch. That is really cool. And I love, oh my God, are we noticing those windows? Is that like a big glass wall window? Shut up, that's really cool. OMG, the fact that the toddlers are gonna be able to play with the baby goats or maybe the baby animals in general, so cool. See, here's my issue with this pack. My issue with this pack is that I feel like it could have also been part of cottage living. You know, like really like goats and sheep. We just kind of like raised animals already. So that, that part's a little bit sad and repetitive to me, but it's still really cute. I'll give him that. It's really cute. Oh, that's how you mount a horse? Look at that horse's braids, okay. Oh, oh! Oh gosh, death by horse, new death, question mark? <gasps> you can make wine, okay, that's what it is. You could stomp the grapes and make wine. Okay, that's interesting. I wouldn't have necessarily paired a Wild West cowboy horse expansion pack with vineyards and making grapes into wine. But nonetheless, The Sims never fails to, you know, make me question. I mean, nonetheless, I think it's cool. <gasps> Death by grapes. <gasps> Wait, I have to point out her hair. That was a really nice hair. Wait, can we go back just one frame? That's a really nice hair. I really, really like that hair. That's cool. This is... 
so nice. I love the black windows, and this has got to be like a wall feature. Like these giant windows, that's got to be a wall. I, this is like my favorite style of ranch. I don't really like, well, I think the cowboy aesthetic is also really cool. Like, don't get me wrong, I do think it's cool. But I love this, like, not for me, not to live in. My apartment is not this style at all. My apartment's very mid-century modern and very earth tones. This style of like modern farmhouse aesthetic is really cool. Like I actually do enjoy it a lot. I do. Oh, angry horse. I'm sure the horses are gonna be able to have traits and stuff like, oh, angry goats, death by goats, death by horse. Oh, it's a sheep. <gasps> Ew, that's gross. That is nasty. I'm sure you could use it to like fertilize the land though. I'm sure there's gonna be great use for the horse poop. And look at this, it's a baby horse. And look at the gnome. Oh, the baby horse. Wow, okay, we see some equestrian trophies in the, in the, in the trophy case in the back there. Do you guys see the equestrian trophies? Um, and I love all of the, oh, look at, oh my God. Look at the, I'm hiding myself. Look at the, oh. Look at the wine barrels in the back and the wine cases. You can make like wine cellars now. That's really cool. I've always wanted to get that like Italian aesthetic because I'm Italian and now you can, which is really cool. Even on the counter, you see to the left here, there's a lot of like little trinkets and fun things that you can use. Okay. There, hold on. There is there is a lot that just happened there. We're going to play it in slow motion because we are not going to be able to see that. Okay, ready? So there's that one. There's that. This is leading me to believe that you could actually like, well, I know you can create a horse in Create a Sim, but that you can actually like paint them because these are way too many customization options and like a skeleton horse, really with like different color fur, like you can absolutely like paint them probably. And I love that you can give them a little blanket and like a full saddle. Like that's really, really cool. And then you could hop on them. I don't know, I'm, oops, I'm a fan. Oh wait, look, we saw different backgrounds of the town. This is this is the main town that I said reminded me of, of a place. And then we have this little colorful downtown area, which also looks really cool. And then we have what looks like a little countryside. And then we have a prairie. And then we have the, the Rocky Mountains. That is, that's my favorite screen from the trailer right here. That is so cool. And square dancing, of course, naturally. And there seems, this ghost has been in the trailer a few times now. You see the ghost sitting in the background there? It's been there a few times, strange. But I love the idea of square dancing. That adds some new culture into the game. That's pretty cool. And cheers with the rocking chairs. Love that. And then we see a horse in the stable. So I'm assuming you could actually like set up and build your own horse stable. It's not going to be like the cows in Cottage Living where they're kind of like stuck in like a predetermined pen that the game made for them. But in this one, it looks like they'll be able to do, we'll be able to like customize it, which I love. And you can go in there and you can really like I don't know, I think it's cool. Like I'm not a fan of horses, but I think it's cool. And this barbecue grill, that's really cool. And there's a lot of things in this picture there. There's a baby horse in the back, right? It looks almost like a donkey almost. Um, and I love this water tower and those string lights are, in, those are sick. I love those. And this looks like we where we can get to compete, which is really, I just keep saying really cool, but I'm cool to get so that's what I'm gonna say. I don't know, it's, uh, it's, it's cool. That's all it is. A nice new piano, very nice new piano. And love Barbie. That is definitely supposed to be Barbie, right? That's the that's the cat. That that's the funny part because of the Barbie movie it is. There's that ghost again with the wine. So, here's what I'm noticing. This pack is all about the wine, the horses, the baby animals. Like are those like the new the three new big things? Oh. Oh, that person turned into a human. That's really weird. Look, these two horses are making love. Okay. Very pretty. 
take the range July 20th, and there's also some secret things that you can get if you order by August 31st. A Twilight Notes Resonator Guitar, Softly Spoken Pedals, and The Rocking Star. I love it. This pack gives me hope that they'll do more themed things in the future. Like, I want pirates now. Like, I want pirates. You know, like, we've already had these, like, we've already had a world that is styled like this, but we haven't had the theme of, like, cowboys and really look ranch living. It also makes me think this should be just should have been named ranch living, not horse ranch. It's cool. That's all it is to me though. I'm not the most thrilled that we're having an entire pack about horses because I don't like horses. Sorry, I don't like horses. I've never been a horse person. I think, I, I do see myself maybe purchasing it. They also haven't released a name for the world yet, which is interesting. I'm sure they'll do more. But yeah, between raising horses, joining a thriving community, and learning, you know, having cookouts and dancing, that's really cool. Um, and owning a ranch with like baby horses and stuff like that. I, I think it's cool. It's cool. It's different. It's storytelling. So I guess we'll just have to honestly wait and see what I think about it when it actually comes out. But I want you guys to let me know in the comments down below what you think about this. Are you gonna buy Sims 4 Horse Ranch? And do you think that it'll be worth it? Like, are you gonna buy it? Do you think it'll be worth it? Or do you think you're just gonna buy it to buy it? I don't know, but it is coming July 20th, which, which is in less than a month and on a Thursday. So I'm excited for that. I actually, it's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting week for me. I'm very busy that week. <laughs> I'm very busy that week. So we're gonna see. We're gonna see how that goes. Um, but for now, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like it's big up. Let me know your favorite part of the trailer. Are you gonna buy it? And do you think it's gonna be worth it? I can't wait to see you guys. I will give you all the new horse ranch news, and I will definitely, definitely, definitely be updating you on anything else that comes out. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like it. Goodbye. Woo!